Hi, welcome to the second floor classroom of the Lion Brand Yarn Studio. We're so happy to have back for the third time. You're like a triple crown Triple winner. crown, exactly. There's only a handful of designers we've had to the Lion Brand Yarn Studio three times. Nikki Epstein, Lily Chin, uh, Melissa Liepman, and yourself. I'm in good company. You are in excellent company. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon Silverman, we're so happy. Uh, we had you here for uh, Tunisian Crochet, right. which was brilliant, but we weren't doing our talks on the Yarniverse yet. And Crochet Pillow, we had a tragic equipment malfunction. Right. So this so, is, I guess, my first this official is your, Yarniverse video. Your, your Yarniverse debut, mm. here to talk <laughs> about crochet scarves. And I'll read the whole thing because we love these subtitles now. I don't know why. Fabulous fashions, various techniques. Pretty much says it all. It does say it all. So tell me why scarves? Scarves present a good opportunity for people to try a lot of different techniques on small projects. And then I hope they'll go forward and use those techniques on larger endeavors and feel comfortable with them. So it's almost as much a teaching tool as it is a finished yes. product kind of, um, kind of book. And because the projects are small, there are 21 patterns in the book wow. with all sorts of different techniques for people to get comfortable with. Wow, yeah, I do love that about um, actually all of your books is how they do their, their pattern books, but they feature so many really great, clear how-to illustrations. And a recent love of mine, crochet charts. Symbols. Crochet charts and symbols right. is a recent passion of mine because um, for a lot of people, uh, especially sort of knitters who have come to crochet, it really looks like a different language, um, the patterns. Right. But a crochet chart, it's just pictures. I yeah. get that. I patterns can, I, can be kind of wordy. Yeah. Um, and that's why we like to show photos. This is actually the first time that I've included symbols. And it was because people asked for them. I think, like you said, they just want a visual reference for what is this supposed to look like. And it also makes it easy for people who are not native English speakers to use the yes. book because they can read the charts and kind of help themselves through that way. And uh, Alan Wycheck, who's been the photographer since five books ago, which wow. started with basic crocheting and beyond basic crocheting, he is really a genius at showing motion in still photos. So there are a lot of close-ups, and I didn't want anybody to have to wonder, does the hook go here, does it go right. here? So we always try to show people. Yeah, I love that, and I love this kind of step-by-step -step image. And then including, of course, the beautiful inspirational shots of the finished product, Vanna Glamour, I believe. That is Vanna Glamour, <laughs> and a jacket out of my closet. <laughs> oh, very nice. So we have some of the little beauties here. So um, a lot of people might be surprised to see cables. Um, so some of the beginner crocheters, I mean, you know, the crocheters that have been out there for years are like, crochet cables, of course. But right. beginner crocheters don't know about some of these right. gorgeous stitches. So. And this is a Tunisian crochet cable. So you can see also it has kind of a, a knit border around mm -hmm. the edge, some, some stitches that look very much like pearl stitches in knitting, then the cable in the middle just kind of... Uh, frames the cable, but yeah, it's very easy to do and I think it looks it, it stands up well against any type of cable it's, it's really fun, too So I hope people will give it a try in, in the amazing yarn in the amazing yarn yeah. And I love some of the um, other techniques represented. That's broomstick. Yes, this is broomstick lace beautiful. Which uses a very large knitting needle to pull up these loops and you get kind of a almost a like the eye of a peacock feather effect. And what's this little gorgeous? This is fillet crochet, which you may recognize as something that's used on doilies, tablecloths, even pictures. But there's no reason you can't translate it into a beautiful scarf. So uh, I do include a chart. This, the chart is a little different for fillet mm -hmm. crochet um, and detailed instructions how to follow that chart and create. You can see the pattern repeats fairly frequently. Yeah. So once you get the hang of it, it's not really difficult. And I think the results are a little unusual and it's interesting. Gorgeous. Well, I loved the book so much. And what I do love about the book, you know, we have so many, so many knitters and crocheters of so many different levels. And I truly feel that I could say 
to, to uh, crochet of a variety of levels, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to get something great out of this book because of the clear how-tos. But it goes deep enough and in, into so many different techniques. Um, right. Experienced crocheters have a lot to dig in here. Yeah, I don't think they'll be bored. No, I don't think uh, they'll be bored. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. I can't wait to see there's um, a whole closet, uh, a suitcase full of samples <laughs> downstairs that we're gonna dig into. Well, thank you very much. So for those of you who couldn't join us here in New York City, Go out and get crochet scarves and dig into uh, 21, 21 different 21 patterns. Different patterns. Yep. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Patty. Bye from the Lion Brand Yarn Studio. Adios.